All right, guys, we are back, back from moving stands. And today we are going to make a seafood bisque out of, we'll show you, fish dad caught in Isle Mirada. So we got tuna, uh, and we got mahi-mahi, and then we also got shrimp. We didn't catch those, but but basically we're gonna make a seafood bisque out of that. Some clams, we're gonna add some clams. And, uh, we're gonna get going and show you how we make it. So we're gonna start off by, you're gonna grill the tuna. Grill the tuna, poach the mahi. <laughs> and then and, uh, the shrimp, shrimp already cooked. And, yeah, well, all that goes in at the very end. So we'll uh, show you the whole process of making this once we get the fish thawed out here and start cooking. And then we'll show you all the other ingredients we put in it, all the other vegetables and butter and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. So we are going to poach the mahi. Won't take too long. A nice selection of fish for our, it's our best. So we're poaching that and we're grilling the tuna. It's gotta be fairly well done, but not not the way we would eat it with yeah. Yeah, ginger and wasabi. We just pulled the mahi mahi out, as you can tell. Cooked all the way through. And there's the last of the tuna. So now we're just letting it sit, and then we're gonna cut it up into pieces like the shrimp to add into the soup bisque. Stick of butter. We're doubling. Double in the recipe. Okay, so uh, our vegetables are cooking here. They're almost uh, done, but we need to make sure they're tender, okay? Because these are all going to be blended down into our into our into our bisque, so they have to be soft and tender. We're going to use the immersion blender there, but uh, pretty quickly we're going to be going into just salt and pepper and adding a little garlic, we're cooking them a little bit more, and then when we do do our our uh, add our flour, we're going to be coming over here. And we're going to be adding, um, we don't have fish stock, so you can always substitute chicken. So you can do the store-bought chicken broth, or you can make make it up with your uh, bouillon. And then uh, a bisque gets uh, wine. We got white wine, we're going to add sherry, and we're going to add a little, uh, well, I, I don't have brandy, but we're going to add a little cognac, too, to kick it up a notch. And then we're going to add some herbs. And uh, we're gonna add that and let that cook a little bit. And then at the very end, we add uh, heavy cream. And then we get all our goodies over here. That's tuna and mahi-mahi and shrimp. And we're also gonna put some clams in there. So it should be, should be delicious. That's what's coming up next. Okay, do a little salt and pepper like everything should get, right? Salt and pepper. We gotta do some garlic, who doesn't like garlic? So it's calling for a few uh, a few cloves. So this might be a little heavy, but we like our garlic. So, okay, we're gonna cook that for another minute or two, and then we'll be adding the flour and making our roux, which is used for gumbos, and basically it's a flour-like type paste, and then we're gonna pour some 
the wine and stuff and then start making our, our creamy base. Okay, so I think we're, we're about ready. That's looking really pretty good. So we're just going to start slowly adding some flour, right? And this is the normal thing if you're doing gumbo or whatever. You're just trying to make a, a roux. A roux is just simply flour and oil or butter. And then you're able to take milk or wine or whatever you thing is. You can see it's starting to thicken up right there. And that's kind of what we're looking for. And it uh, doesn't take too much. We're going to add a little bit more just to get her going. But at this point then, this is going to make that, see how it's starting to get kind of coagulated and thick? That's going to be the good base for our, we're just going to cook that one more minute. And then we're going to start adding our liquids in here. And I think that's going to be, we're going to be pretty good. So we're now, now we're using some chicken bouillon in this case, and then we're going to use some chicken stock. We don't have fish or lobster stock, so this is what your alternative would be. And I just want to kind of get this added in, and now this is going to mix with that flour. We're going to add some wine in here too, but just add it in slow and stir it around. You don't want to add it in all at one time. And you can see where our soup consists. You can see that color, right? It looks like normal bisque kind of stuff starting to come out too. So we have a lot more liquids to add. I'm gonna go get the wine now and some more stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add some white wine. This is two cups of white wine. So we're gonna cook this for 30 minutes following this, right? So and have all these flavors start to come together. So that's that's the white wine. Sure looks Oops. like this. And then we're gonna go to the chicken broth. This is a good easy, if you don't wanna have to make stuff, you can add in your chicken broth as well. Okay. So remember, this is going to get the old motorboat. We're going to blend all this stuff down, and hopefully the flour and the roux will start thickening this thing up a little bit. Still have a little more sherry and some cognac to add as well. Okay, one of my favorites, sherry. Yeah, we're going to add like about a... A quarter cup of sherry or so. Yeah, 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 that looks good. Love sherry. And then we're gonna give it a little hit of some brandy or you can throw some cognac in here. Thank you, Curtis. And so, well, well wait a minute, I got a cork issue. Catch the cork in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, it's a cooking show. This shit happens. <laughs> okay, got a little cork issue, so you don't want any cork in your uh, in your stuff. So uh, anyhow, we're just gonna add a little. Oh, I got the cork. There it is. Just gonna add a little brandy. Yeah. Oh, you can smell it, right, Chris? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're adding a little brandy. There we go. Uh oh, and we, and we, we got a floater. That's all right. That's all right. We got her. We got her. <laughs> we're professionals. We have longer spoon going into the there. See, there we are. Okay, so we're gonna get this going and and, and simmer it, and this is gonna cook for thirty minutes, and then we're gonna we're just gonna come back, and then we're gonna blender it got all our seafood to add we hit it with cream we're also going to throw in some herbs right now too so we've got some uh, fresh thyme okay that's gonna go in gonna get a couple bay leaves 
problem Curtis and I are gonna have is we gotta get this stuff out of there. But we'll we'll get her going. All right, so that's gonna go in there. And we're just gonna enhance the whole deal going on here. So we'll be back in about 30 minutes. We'll see how this baby's looking. We're gonna hit this up with a, just a touch of some herb and smoked paprika too. I think it's gonna kick her up a notch. Go. All right. Okay, guys and girls out there, we are uh, at the point now. We have simmered. We're using our immersion blender. We get this thing all nice and smooth, and all those vegetables down into just a nice creamy base. Now you can take, uh, put all of this stuff into a blender and blend it as well. But since we have the gadget, we'll throw it in there. Okay. So you do this till it's very, very. Um, smooth and you have no chunks of any of the vegetables. We pulled out the uh, thyme and the bay leaves and then uh, after this we'll be back to add cream and all of our seafood which is sitting right here. Look at that. We added the uh, clam juice in earlier so you have clams, tuna, shrimp, and mahi-mahi. So we'll be back in a little bit. Curtis might start cramping up here in a second. Okay. Hopefully not being too destructive to our kitchen area. But all the shrimp, the tuna, the mahi mahi, oh there goes the shrimp pieces. Clams mm. are in there. Oh man. So we're gonna let this warm up and just cook a little bit more. But I think we're just about there. We're gonna start some toast, a little crouton action. Gonna finish it off with some fresh chives. And uh, I think we're gonna call it a call it a soup day. We'll be back shortly. Going. All right, guys. This is it. Final product. Very good. That came out really good. And we got some bread to dip in with it. Thanks for watching. And if you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one.